What's up Gunpla Modelers? This is Jim and I'm going to be doing another custom video. Uh, before I get to that, I don't know why I'm out of breath, but actually I've been running around. So, I got a few things over the last couple of weeks. Some Gunplas related for working with and some not. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, actually I got hobby supplies, I got uh, stuff that will help me out for painting, plus paint, more paints, and something I bought that was pretty cheap, it was like five bucks, it was actually this guy here, it's a laser pointer, nice bright green laser, I mean, you can actually see the, uh, the laser a little bit. It's really nice. Uh, what else? Um, I got a new airbrush actually. I got this off eBay. It was a cheap one and I'm like, oh, what the hell. I need to have a backup anyway. Just in case my cracks dies on me. So I got this tile. It's a, uh, it's a double tile. Uh, you press down pull back style. It has a nice integrated feed there and I actually bought an adapter. It's already attached. It'll work with my Crex adapter, so that's awesome. And this works really nicely. So anyway, let's get on to what my custom's going to be. Some of you have seen pictures on my Facebook and Instagram probably, and already know what's coming up, but I'm going to be doing a custom of the Night Gundam. I'm going to be doing Something nice to it, actually. But, uh, let's go over to paints for it. So, starting off, I'm going to do everything in this gray primer with Michael Filler. So, if there's any scratches or whatnot, this will protect that. Or cover them up or whatnot. I got my favorite uh, gloss paint here, the gloss black base. I had this for quite a while. I still have like a good amount in here. That's going to last quite a while. Uh, the next paint I got, I've had this for quite a while. I've only used it for one kit so far. It's going to be for all the silver here that you see on this guy. Let me pull this down so you can see a little better because of the other cars I'm going to introduce. But uh, Airframe Aluminum is going to be all this silver. I think it's a nice little bright color. It shines really nice. It looks just like chrome almost. But it looks really nice. I thought it looked great for it. The yellow, which is on here, uh, I'm only going to be doing... I just bought this paint. I thought it looked pretty good for it. Pale gold. That'll be all the yellow, which is pretty much the V-fin and the cross there. The eyes, I'm going to let you know now, they're going to be stickers. I'm not going to put up with the whole painting and whatnot. I'm not going to do that. And let's see. For the red and blue, actually, before I start painting the red, I actually have this stuff. Bright Silver Candy Base. Yes, you read that right. I'm going to candyfy the other colors. The red, you can actually look this up on the Alclad official website. I thought this looks really nice. But it's ruby red. And for the blue, it's going to be electric blue. These are actually enamels. Everything else is uh, acrylic. Or no, I'm sorry. Lacquer base, actually. So, yeah, so I got all these. They're, they're going to be applied to 
this guy here. And that's why I, the reason why I got this laser pointer. So it'll help me point to what I'm aiming at. So this is gonna be painted all these colors. So without further ado, uh, let's open this guy up. Uh, one thing I'll mention right now, I've actually assembled one thing so far. It's this. I've already assembled the lance because I need to figure out how to paint it. So what I did is I'm leaving it, I, I built it up and I'm using the hole that it has here. You can see right there, I'm using that hole to actually paint up the uh, the whole thing. What I'm going to do is going to coat black the whole thing and then the gloss black and then the airframe aluminum. So that's going to be easier. Of course you get your manual and your first plate here. Actually this was separate and I'm telling you now I'm not painting this. This is going to stay original because I don't see the need to paint it. But you got all your reds, yellows, clears. Like the clear Jew here, I mean. But your red, silver, yellow. Some parts have already fallen off the sprue. But, uh, and there's your poly caps. And here's the rest of the blue and silver. But, uh, I'm going to take a moment and separate everything here. As you can see, I've separated everything. Uh, the only thing I'm not going to paint as well is this clear part that's going to go... It actually goes inside the sword here, so I'm not going to paint that. But, yeah. I forgot to mention one more thing. Um, I actually bought, I bought something today that is going to help me with breathing while I'm painting. Um, I bought a respirator. Uh, not the kind of mask that you get for just like clean dust and whatnot. This is actually like a, a, a multi-purpose type. Uh, hopefully this works. Because <laughs> it says uh, don't use it for painting but I don't think there's a problem with that because I mean with this type it should block paint or be easy to breathe around paint so I don't think that's going to be a problem but uh, yeah so as I was saying before I'm going to be painting all the where's it, all the silver here going to be this airframe aluminum. Both of the red and blue are going to be this bright silver candy base while electrical blue will be here and the ruby red will be right here. The pale gold only goes to two parts but as I said everything's going to be primed first. So here's how everything looks before being uh, take all the little nubs are taken off and primed. And here's here they are all primed. I actually have them all separated too. Just a second here. You got all the silver on this part in this section. Back there's the yellow. Here's all the red, and there's all the blue. I would continue on with the uh, build, for, or the paint right now. But I would have started with the yellow, but unfortunately my air compressor decided to overheat, and I'm going to let it cool off for tonight, see if it will work tomorrow. And I'll start with probably the yellow, because that's like the easiest out of all these parts. The uh... <laughs> The silver gave me a lot of work. Uh, 
blue was pretty easy enough. The red was pretty simple as well. And yeah. So, on to the next part.